Hi everybody. Welcome, welcome. We Today we are going to make some mini egg muffins. Mini egg muffins. So what you're going to need today is a muffin tin, cooking spray, eggs that I've already cracked, 12 of them, salt and pepper to taste, and whatever types of things you want to put in your egg muffins. I decided to use cheese, bacon, peppers, and some spinach and arugula. Now, the thing that I really like about these is that you can go ahead and make all kinds of different muffins in one setting. So if you don't like peppers, guess what? You don't have to add those onto your muffins. All right, so the first thing that I do is I wash my hands and I preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do with my muffin tin, I'm gonna take my cooking spray and spray it so that when I cook my eggs, they are not going to stick to my pan when I have to take them out. Another thing that I really like about this is that after these are made, I can go ahead and put them in the refrigerator and eat them all week. So I take my whisk right here and I'm gonna whisk my eggs to mix them up. Now some people add a little bit of milk if they want to. You're certainly welcome to do that. All right. So I'm whisking up my eggs now. I'm gonna add also a little bit of pepper because I like pepper in mine. So I'm gonna do some fresh pepper in mine and I'm gonna add some salt. Now you could add any spice that you want. Some people add dill. My husband likes dill in his eggs. I'm putting a little bit of salt in there. And that's up to you how much you want in there. All right, so now my eggs are all mixed in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little spoon or a ladle. Right here. And I'm gonna scoop up, I'm gonna get rid of my, my, um, my whisk here. Put that in my sink. So I'm gonna scoop up a little bit in my ladle. And I'm going to fill my muffin tin, each one of my muffin tins, with some of my egg mixture. Now I'm gonna fill this up so it's about three fourths full of eggs. So about three quarters full. So I'm gonna do that with each one. Do, do, do. And it goes pretty quick here. Now remember to always wash your hands before doing this. And being that you're gonna be using the stove and probably cutting some vegetables, make sure that you have an adult with you to help with this. Oops, I spilled there. Did you see that? Okay, I only have three more to fill up. I already have my oven preset or heating up. Da -da -da. Almost done. Now here's the fun part. In my family, there are four of us. And all four of us have four different interests of what we like in our eggs. So I have my muffin tin. Now I can take my ingredients. Well, everybody in my family likes bacon. So I'm gonna take my bacon and I'm just gonna sprinkle them into my egg mixture. Now what if somebody didn't like bacon? You'll leave your bacon out of those. Other meats that I like to use if you want to are ham. Um, I like to use chicken. Sometimes I use turkey. My son actually makes these into more of a pizza and he will use um, pepperonis. All right, so my bacon's in there. Actually, this one looks like it's not as full. So I'm gonna add a little more, add a little egg mixture left. Okay, so I've got my bacon in there. Now, some of my kids like peppers and some don't. So I'm gonna leave four of them without peppers. So I just sprinkle a few peppers in and, and you get to just use however much you want. 
What are some other vegetables you could use? My husband likes onions, so we would put that in. Um, we could use green peppers. Okay, so I said I would leave four out. I'm not gonna place them in four. Right, you could even put like artichoke hearts. Those are yummy. I love those. I love black olives. You could put those in. Okay, my next one is gonna be my spinach and arugula. I'm only gonna do half and half for that because some of my family really doesn't like that. But spinach and arugula is very good for you. Anything green. So sometimes it's a good way if you're not so keen on something, if you don't exactly love love it, it's a good way to kind of sneak it in and you don't always taste it as much. But that's totally up to you. So I add a little more, I'm gonna add one here. And last in my family, everybody loves cheese. More cheese, please. So I'm gonna take my cheese and I'm gonna to top everything off with some cheese. Oh, I'm almost running out of cheese. That's so much cheese we love. So you can add as much or as little as you want. There aren't exact measurements with this type of recipe because you can customize it so much to what you're looking for. All right, so you can see how quickly we prepared that. So now what we have to do is we're gonna put it in the oven. So it goes in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Ooh, saved by the bell, did you hear that? That means my oven is ready to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven to bake for 20 to 25 minutes. Here are our wonderful finished products. We have our mini egg muffins. Now I've let mine cool for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna just take a little knife to remove these from my pan. And then I'm going to enjoy their tastiness. Now you may not eat all of them in one sitting, so just put the rest of them in a container or a plastic baggie, store them in the refrigerator, and when you wanna eat them, take them out and warm them up in your microwave for anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Remember to help out at home by doing the dishes and cleaning up after you do this um, wonderful recipe. Thanks so much for joining me and have a great day. Bye.